Hey everybody, it's Bryce here giving you guys a tutorial on how to make a successful gameplay commentary. So I'm going to try and make this short and sweet, to the point, and uh, just everything that you absolutely absolutely need. Um, so first off, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do it on a PC. If you guys like this video, um, please let me know obviously in the comments below, but also tell me if you guys want me to do one for a Mac system. Uh, so with that being said, we'll move on. Uh, so if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more gameplay commentaries and uh, tutorials and stuff like that. So let's get started. So first thing you need is a PC. Uh, also, you're going to need a microphone. So if you're working off a laptop, you might have an internal microphone that is obviously included in your in your laptop. But if you have a uh, gaming PC, sorry, I have a cold. If you have a gaming PC, then um, you are probably going to need to buy a microphone but if you have a headset you should be fine uh, any sort of microphone will work so that's the first thing you're going to need next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a, a video recording software or uh, so uh, if you're planning on recording games from your consoles there are tons of video recording softwares out there uh, that will work you guys can just look up other YouTube videos and um, figure out how to get those softwares. Um, now there's also a ton of um, game softwares that record PC games, which is what I'm going to be talking about right now. Um, the most popular one I think is um, uh, Fraps, but I don't really uh, like Fraps that much, mainly because it makes the file sizes huge. So what I use is Action. Um, uh, but before we go to the program, the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a video editing software. So uh, what I use is uh, Sony Vegas Pro 12. Um, it is a really good program for PC. Per um, I personally enjoy Final Cut on the Mac better, but uh, we'll get into that if I do a Mac tutorial. So uh, with that being said, we'll hop right in. Uh, so there are ways to get this program. I think it's 30 something bucks uh, if you want to buy it. Uh, there's also ways to get programs free obviously we're welcome to the internet so um, you guys can do it however you want I'll put the uh, link to this program below uh, where to buy it oh man cold I'm so sorry um, so going into action uh, you want to go to the video recording area which is right here and you want to have the game and application thing selected so whenever you have a game opened it'll recognize that you have a game opened um, next thing you want to do is you want to go to the settings um, so once you're in the settings you can change everything to your own desire really what you really want it to be so um, uh, oh, going back here for a quick second um, you want to record in AVI mp4 is a cool format but it doesn't record 720p as you can see it records 480 uh, it also enco it uh, compresses as you are playing, so it uses more uh, RAM on your computer, so your computer will run games slower, and you'll notice uh, your frame rate will drop while playing the games, which uh, it's pretty hard to do, uh, pretty hard to play the games while your frame rate is going like below five. <laughs> so um, yeah, so the video size, if you have a really strong computer, you could go to original. That's if you are going at even higher than 1080p um, which I don't really there's not many people who do that um, uh, you could go to 1080p if you have a solid computer um, the file sizes will be bigger uh, I usually go to 720p so I can manage my file size uh, and I, I record at 30 frames per second because I'm uploading to YouTube and YouTube doesn't allow 60 frames so there is no point of recording 60 frames per second unless you um, unless uh, you're planning on doing slow motion in the editing software. So uh, with, with that being said, and you want to click 30, um, and then we are going to go down here. You're going to uh, record system sounds, so that will record their game sounds uh, and allow multi-channel audio recording. So um, that, that allows uh, more than one channel, so it, rec it allows to record your uh, gameplay audio as well as your microphone audio. Um, now you can go to your microphone settings uh, there is do not record so you can not record it um, if you're not doing a live commentary or you don't want to um, have that included there is always record so if you're doing a let's play through a game and you want to record your voice always you can do that or you can do record holding down a button so um, let's say the button was 
um, shift and every single time you press shift uh, it will record the voice that you were saying through your microphone. I usually have it on always record because I like doing live commentaries but for this particular instance if you were doing a gameplay commentary you would do do not record. Uh, moving on to the audio um, you want to actually we'll go to settings because this is how it will affect your game. Um, so you're going to go here. I would just record the video quality as normal. You can go low, but I mean, I don't see why you'd want to do that. Uh, input range, I change that. I keep that all the same. Uh, I record my mouse cursor. I keep that all the same the way it is when you open up the program. So don't mess with that. Just keep it the same. Moving on to the audio settings. Um, like I said, you're going to need a microphone. I'm using a blue snowball mic. Um, now you can fiddle around with these settings as much as you want. Uh, you can have your microphone volume super low or super high. Uh, it's all personal preference. Um, you can uh, change the audio. Uh, oh, here, sorry. Uh, record microphone into a separate audio track. If you were doing a live commentary, a live Let's Play, um, you want to have that checked off. Um, that will come in big handy. That didn't even make sense, but whatever. It will, it will come in handy. Uh, when you're in your editing software to manage the audio tracks. So if you're doing a live commentary, can't stress it enough, make sure you're recording on a separate audio track. Um, moving on uh, to the audio device. So that audio device means the um, system sounds, as it says here. Um, so you can pick, uh, like I have it plugged, I have I work off my TV, so I could do my TV, I could do the audio taken from my headphones. Uh, I usually just do system default and let it figure it out for itself. Uh, so here, you can change the volume of how it records your microphone compared to your system sounds, which is pretty cool. So yeah, that is the audio settings. Um, moving on, you have the HUD settings, HUD. Um, so what this is, is you are going to see a frame rate thing in the corner. So if I were to open up Gary's Mod here, you see that there's a frame rate and I'm running it at 217 frames per second, which is pretty freaking amazing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, so you can pick where you want it positioned. You can have it in the top middle, top right, top left, and so on. You can see that there. Um, so you can have it where uh, you can't see it when you're recording. Uh, you can see it when you're recording, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have it checked on this middle one so I can see what how many frames I'm recording at and I can see if my frames are dropping. But uh, once the video is completed, um, the it doesn't affect um, it doesn't sorry it doesn't show up in the actual video. So uh, no matter what you click up here, no matter what your settings are, it's not going to show your frame rate in the final video file. Um, export settings um, you can. Uh, you can have it automatically split files into two parts uh, for YouTube purposes. Um, that's if you're uploading straight to YouTube from this program. I don't do that. Um, going to the key bindings, uh, like the hotkey settings, um, you can personalize it to your keyboard if you want. So my keyboard has a lot of a uh, extra keys. Uh, and if let's say to record video, it's F9. So let's say you already have something on F9 in the game, or F9 is a a uh, huge component to your game, uh, you might want to change that. So then you just change that. And that's that. Um, so I already have games recorded. So I'll give you just a quick thing. We'll just, uh, I'll open up Gary's mod and we'll have that open. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press F9. And if you look up in this top, I'll stop recording and it'll rise back up to 200. Um, so then you see here, it'll, you'll have your project window open. You can click this, and this is where you're saving your files. Um, so I have mine saved in uh, my videos and uh, and I the tutorial file. So I click OK, and now that's where it saves. And you can see the video here, and you can preview it here if you want to. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so that is the video recording for uh, games on your PC. If you want to know how to record um, video games on your console, I already said, you can find a program for that. I don't have mine hooked up right now, so I can't show you. I apologize. Um, but yeah, so we'll ignore that, and we're going to open up Sony Vegas Pro. Uh, so we'll let that open up, and once it's opened up, I will come back to you guys. So once you have your Sony Vegas Pro 12 opened, you're going to go up to File. You're going to click Save 
or save as. Um, I'm going to click save as because I've already saved this. And you, uh, I saved it as tutorial, so I'm just going to save over my other tutorial. And it's going to ask me if I want to replace it. I'm going to say yes. Um, so to start uh, building my commentary, uh, I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to import. I'm going to go to media. Now this will bring up uh, video files. So what I've located is some of my Battlefield 4 online video files. And I'm going to double click one and it's going to import it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it down. So you click it, you hold, and you drag it down to the timeline, and it's going to ask you if you want to set your project video settings to match this media. You're going to click yes, because if it's something different, your media will be stretched, it will be distorted, it won't be as clean looking, it will look like crap. So you want to click yes. So uh, now you have these video files. And if I click uh, play uh, right here, if I click play, you can see it moving and I'm gonna stop it um, so uh, what I, as you can see there are three audio tracks because for this particular gameplay I recorded my voice while I was playing so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this so you can see how it's like to do a commentary uh, but before I get into that for a live commentary you are pretty much set up all you have to do is tweak the volume settings so this row here would be the volume setting for um, your game so you, normally you want your game volume to be lower than your voice volume so uh, you would bring the decibels down you don't want to bring them down too much because you won't be able to hear shit so you want to play with that and make sure it's to your liking um, now if let's say your mic records very quiet um, you want to boost your mic up or down depending on whatever is the issue so uh, with that being said I'm going to right click this and I'm going to delete the track so now I only have two tracks so now if I were to play this one second I'm gonna put down my volume okay so once I if, if I were to play this here um, press enter it's the quick play button uh, you just see it moving and there is um, volume to the game. Um, pause that uh, enter is to play and pause and keep your stick where it is um, uh, your buffer thing um, so if I want to do a commentary I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go insert audio track um, now uh, what I'm gonna do to start recording is I'm gonna click this uh, it's like a red target it says arm for record so that means once I arm this for recording uh, and it's asking me where to save my uh, audio recording uh, I will save it just in the documents so that's, that's fine um, so once I click that um, you can see that I'm talking and it's fine right okay so this is a big thing if your mic is different than mine um, or if you're close and you see how it gets into the red there um, or if I'm far away and it goes really low you don't want that you want uh, it at around 12 12 is a good number <laughs> um, it's nice clean audio and in order to get that you can bring the volume down so it's low or you can bring it high so it's really really loud it's up it's it's really just up to you um, I'm gonna bring it back to that's fine whatever um, yeah so center uh, it means if you want it coming out of one ear more than the other you don't really have to worry about that you keep it in the middle and you won't have the problem of your audio coming through one headphone um, so once you have this armed for record you can scrub this back it's easier to do it up here scrub it back to Jeez, I'm sorry. Scrub it back to um, the beginning, and you're gonna click this button. It's record or Control R, and you are gonna record. And as you're recording, you can see that it is recording my audio, and the track is going on the bottom there. And this would be a commentary if I were to be actually doing one. So then, uh, let's say I'm happy with what I'm talking about, and I'm gonna stop it. Then, uh, sure, done. So that is my audio track, and that is my uh, my commentary. Press enter, you'll be and able as to you're hear recording, it. You and obviously, like the live commentary, I'm going to unarm this. Um, obviously, for the commentary, uh, you can tweak this again. Like I said, for uh, you can do for the live commentary, you can do it again for this. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, tweak it so the audio is perfect. Um, video down, and your voice up. 
okay? And if you're recording a live commentary with friends, make sure that in your in your in-game uh, you make the audio file low. So you want to make it uh, you want to make your game, sorry, you want to make your game audio lower so your friends' voices are high so they match your voice and the game is still low. So with that being said, we have this game. But you see, this is where I'm talking and I have all this extra footage that I don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. And this is right at the end of my uh, audio track. And the button I'm going to press, I'm going to select my video track. Whoop. I'm going to select my video track and I'm going to press the key S. S splits the track and because these two are connected, because they're from the same file, um, they're going to split together. So now I can move this individually and this stays one track. So I don't want this so I'm going to click delete and it's gone. It's gone off my timeline. If you want it back you can just drag this back in and it drags back the entire thing back including a repeat of this. But I'm going to delete that again because I, oops, nope, I don't want to delete that, my bad. Uh, I'm going to delete that. Uh, so now I'm going to use my scroll wheel to zoom in because this is small. So if I wanted to do precise editing, this is what I'm going to do, right? So once I have, let's say, I'm bringing up my audio so mine's higher and this so it's lower. That's just an example on what you have to do in order to make your commentary sound professional. Um, now you are going to see these things with the yellow triangles. This is your in and out keys, okay? It's called a loop re region, but it's in your in and out keys for when you render something out. If I have it like this, it is going to render out this, okay? It's just going to render out this portion that it's selected here. So I want the whole thing selected, otherwise well, I'm going to be rendering out something not good. I'm going to be rendering out a portion of my commentary, which will suck, okay? So um, let's say I wanted to uh, uh, fade this out, okay? Um, I wanted to fade out the video. There's a little blue thing here, and your and your cursor turns into a fade out offset. I can click and drag. I could drag it all the way, so the whole thing is just slowly fading out. I can fade it out to what I really want. So if I wanted it like that, then uh, I'll f I can fade out my audio as well, doing the same thing. Whatever. So if I were to say play, I'm happy with what I'm see about it slowly stop. starts to fade out into black. Um, so that's pretty much the pure basics on how to make a commentary. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth in-depth look, adding color correction, adding video effects, uh, a lot of my videos at the end of them I have a uh, little ending thing where the video goes in a little picture and there's a previous and next button and it shows the game I'm playing. If you want to know how to do stuff like that, um, which incorporates <clears throat> sorry, which incorporates Photoshop. Uh, and your editing software and your video game stuff uh, let me know in the comments below and I can make a tutorial for that so you guys can all be on the same page as me um, if you okay so now uh, with this being the final um, product that we like right it's gonna be a 15 second commentary which is nothing <laughs> uh, but if let, let's say this is what we like our in and outs are perfect we're good to go um, if you want to manage your your Sony Vegas window you can do so by uh, whenever your cursor looks like this, you can manage it. So if you have a lot of channels, like if you're recording something mostly based on audio and you want to, you have a lot of audio channels, you probably won't have to worry about that. So yeah, we can just keep it basic. Um, so then you're going to go up to file. You are going to go uh, on a lot of, uh, uh, what's it called? On a lot of Macs, the button you go to is export because you want to export something into a certain file here. Um, you want to render as. Now uh, it's going to bring up a second window in just a moment. Okay, here we go. Uh, and it's going to give you a bunch of options. I'm going to save this to my uh, desktop. So I'm going to click browse and I'm going to click desktop and I'm going to click OK. So it's going to save. You can see it saves to my desktop. It's going to be called tutorial.wmv, um, which is a, movie, uh, a Windows movie file only. Um, so there's a bunch of movie files that you can save in. Uh, I find the best one is if you were to scroll down to me, uh, Windows Media Video V11, uh, which is a WMV file. You can see that in the, you can see like the encoders, what it is at the end. Uh, you're going to ex expand that because if you just have that selected, you're not going to be able to render. Um, you're going to go down and you're, you're going to see a bunch of options. So it all, comp it all uh, matters of what you recorded in. So if I recorded 720p 
uh, I, yeah, 720p at 24 frames per second, I would click this. If I record at 25 frames per second, I would click this. What I recorded at was 720p 30 frames per second. So I click that. So that is what the file was, and I'm going to render it as that. So I click render, and you see this window pop up, and it uh, it kind of buffers through the whole video in this window here. Um, gives you a, a rough time, so this will take about uh, 40 seconds to uh, exp uh, to render, sorry, and uh, I'll be back once it is finished. Alright, so it finally finished. It's 100% done as you can see here, and um, it tells you how much time it took. It took 59 seconds, and uh, you can either click open, which will open the file, or you can click open folder, or you can just close it. Um, I'm going to uh, close it, and I'm going to close uh, Sony Vegas after I save it quickly because you always want to be able to go back into your project file. Let's say you rewatch it and figured out you screwed something up. And here we go. This is the tutorial video. I'm going to double click it. It's going to open up with my uh, Windows Media Player. And here it is, is the video that we made. And it looks pretty good. Um, and you can see at the end, it's going to fade to black, which is what we wanted. So, um,. Yeah, that is that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Once again, if you guys liked it, please like the video. If you liked uh, it as well, uh, subscribe and comment below telling me if you guys want me to do one on Mac uh, or uh, a more advanced version, adding color correction, uh, Photoshop files, uh, JPEGs, and stuff like that into it, both for Mac and PC. So let me know for that. And with that being said, that's the end of the video. I, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, have a good day and have fun making uh, gameplay commentaries and getting into the, wow, voice crack, and getting into the uh, YouTube community. Uh, see you guys later.